Happy fall, y'all. This hat too. <laughs> I did, I did, I did. Welcome to today's episode. I'm Kathy. And I'm Rachel. And I am so excited. It's pumpkin spice day. Oh Rachel's not a big fan, I guess. <laughs> I can take it or leave it. How about that? I love it. I love like pumpkin. I make a pumpkin cake or pumpkin bars that are delicious that I never make because I will eat the whole thing. So I brought some stuff home. My husband's like, I don't, you know, it's kind of silly. You're doing a taste test on pumpkin spice. But my thought is, I don't want to buy something and not like it and yeah, waste my I'm calories. Afraid. Where he's like, oh, if I want to taste something, I'm just going to go buy it. Then, then I'm afraid, okay, if I really like it, I'm going to eat the whole thing. Yeah, true. That so too. it's like, what, you know, I value my calories. I value my money. So it's like, yeah. so anyway, we're going to do you a favor and taste <laughs> some stuff and let you know if it's worth it. Yep. Um, yes, taste is subjective, but we can tell you if it's yeah. real pumpkin-y or just okay. Pumpkin but it's spicy. funny because I do not like pumpkin pie. Even if something on the package, just, there was uh, Pop-Tarts. They were pumpkin pie Pop-Tarts, but that did not sound good to me at all. If it would have said pumpkin spice, I would have been all over it. But, really? So Where are we going to start, Kathy? No. We're going to start with these. Okay, what are those? So, uh, Belvita breakfast bars. I bought them before in the cinnamon. But these are the pumpkin. Yeah. yeah. Not a lot of spice. No. Yeah, that's just a kind of a little cinnamony. Yeah. Uh, let's go with the Oreos. Yeah. yeah. It is pumpkin, but you know that's um, just <laughs> probably a little artificial <laughs> there. A little coloring. Red and yellow make orange. I don't, I don't taste it. Here. I don't taste it either. Okay, very disappointed about that one. If we were blindfolded, no. No, way. no, I would have no not way. guessed. No way. That's what I should have brought with my <laughs> Maybe we need an <laughs> Oreo challenge. <laughs> so we'll go with the fudge stripe. Okay. okay. Yeast next. A hint. Yeah, it's, it's the aftertaste is there. It's okay. Cheerios. A hint. Yeah. But not. Maybe if you eat them and just grab a couple. <laughs> Here. Come on, Jason. All together now. <laughs> A little bit more. Now the Toll House Nestle's pumpkin spice mm -hmm. made with white chocolate chips. Sorry. Cookie dough. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. The dough was very good. <laughs> oh, was it? Were you trying it? Not that you should eat raw cookie dough. No. Whatever. But okay. The dough was better. No. But that's not recommended. Like no. I have the Philadelphia cream cheese. So it's real pumpkin and cinnamon. I can't taste it at all. Can you taste it? Barely. I can't taste it at all. All right. Well, moving on. Next is the pumpkin loaf cake, Intamin. Mm -hmm. And you know, I love pumpkin bread, so for pumpkin cake. High hopes for this one. Very disappointed. No, nothing pumpkin y. Nope. It's not even good. <laughs> no. Right. So you wasted your money on that one, Kathy. <laughs> Send it into my husband's office or oh. your, your office. Okay. We have the Krispy Kreme Junior. Oh my goodness! Look. And I, I have don't want to look at the cameras. And I have tried them, and they're good. Mm -hmm. It's not a strong pumpkin or a spice. My husband thought they taste more maple. They're good. They're very good. They suck them down at my house, so <laughs> they. So last year I got the uh, the creamer. I don't drink coffee, but I got the coffee <laughs> made. Pumpkin spice oh. coffee made. Mm -hmm. Added it to my vanilla protein shake, mm -hmm. was which was actually really good. I should have been adding the sugar to it, but but it was really good. Maybe that's what I should do if I want some pumpkin. Yeah. So you have okay. To so I have the Keurig pumpkin spice artificially flavored coffee. Now I kind of dropped the ball because I was supposed to pick up the uh, the ones from. Sorry about that. Sorry about the noise. <laughs> We're having some work done here today. Um, at Howard Starbucks brand and I believe that when I read the label it has another little packet of creamer so it makes it more like a latte but it's the pumpkin size flavoring. This one is just pumpkin size flavored coffee. You won't take a yeah. sip, will you? No. Okay. But you did smell it and it does smell, to me it smells like a fall candle. <laughs> <laughs> like cinnamon. It's like Halloween in a mug. <laughs> I think it's more of the smell when you when you smell it. Um, I can a little. I could taste It'd be a little. better with that coffee mate. Uh, yeah, it would be good <laughs> with like a ton of sugar and heavy cream. And so this I got this morning. Uh, I can't tell you the last time I ordered a milkshake. I'm gonna use this spoon. Okay. 
Okay. It looked a little better. Does kind of look pretty much. And this is from Steak and Shake. Steak and Shake. And it's a pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice shake. milkshake. I'm gonna pass. I'm just gonna sip my coffee. I'll forget that I get 20 this thing. <laughs> it's a it's good. It's not overpowering. I didn't taste it at all. I would like it stronger. Like if it was coffee mate. <laughs> <laughs> that coffee mate was really good. I should have got oh, that. Oh my goodness. Yeah. But I knew if I did, I would. I know. I know. So it's like. What so we I do feel better knowing that I'm not missing out on anything. No. Because there's none of these that I will crave. I'm so disappointed. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you I'm know. I'm so disappointed I because I love the smell. I love the flavor of pumpkin yeah, spice. No but this flavor. is, there's nothing. So maybe we should do a debate on. Here's their pumpkin spice myth. <laughs> the myth of pumpkin spice. Like, throw pumpkin spice on the label no, and you immediately sell 20% well, you know, more. Well, it's funny because oh, Charmin, did you see it? No, was it pumpkin spice in it? It was, so, it was like a thing of toilet paper that said, you know, pumpkin spice. <laughs> no, I played it for a second. <laughs> Until I Googled it and then realized it was a joke. It was a joke. <laughs> that that you'll never see in pumpkin spice. Mm -hmm. Is any of this for you? No. No. no, like you can't live without any of this. No, there's nothing that I'm going to be like, next thing's like, oh, I have to have that. Well, no. We know so, I'm not a big fan, so there is nothing here. So the only thing I would stick with, if you want something pumpkin and you drink coffee or a protein shake, yeah, get the, uh, the coffee, coffee mint creamer. Coffee mint creamer. And that was good. No. Or if there's some other pumpkin spice things that you guys think are good, let us know. Yeah, things that maybe we should try. That I should, that I can't live without. Yeah. Because these obviously I can. <laughs> so... Thank you so much for tuning no. in. You know, yeah, no, no, no. no just no, because, no, no. and so, so as, to sum it up, just because it throws pumpkin spice on the label doesn't necessarily mean that it tastes like yeah. pumpkin spice. I've so, for it. <laughs> I think we all. Well, have. I know, I know. I'm like, oh, it must be fall. I need to start decorating right. like fall <laughs> because <laughs> pumpkin spice is it's in the store. Outside. I know, <laughs> right? We're in shorts. <laughs> but um, don't forget to subscribe. Yeah. Thanks for watching and. Have a good day. Happy fall, y'all. <laughs>